everyone, it is a new video tutorial today and the reason for our new makeup tutorial for nowadays will be this little but very beautiful cream eyeshadows from Makeup Forever in number 60, M60 and it's like a cream dark brown eyeshadows I want to try it really really a lot and we will do like a smoky eyes and purplish color for now and I think it will be a very interesting, fast, easy, like always, makeup tutorial for you. It again will be useful for a professional makeup artist and definitely it can be useful for usual girls, boys who just want to try makeup and to work on your own. I just back from Lithuania, I had my master class there and we worked with Makeup Forever products and a lot of makeup products from brand Makeup Forever. I saw and I tried and uh, I can tell you that for last five years for sure this brand is going in absolutely another direction there are so many new textures which is very interesting for me especially eyeshadows they change texture at all they, ch they change like a formula and it's become very interesting very soft beautiful etc so let's back to our cream eyeshadows i will use it as a base for smoky eyes on myself and it should be very long wearing and waterproof like uh, texture so let's try it i know that they already i think that they are already close to production of these aqua excel cream colors but as i know makeup forever you always uh, change some formulas and i'm almost sure that they will produce some new products in cream texture like this one so if you do not find this one for sure you can try something else and uh, if you cannot use or you cannot buy this makeup forever cream eyeshadows you definitely can try another uh from another brand cream color which you like this one was interesting for me because this one is uh, like a matte finish you know it do not have any pearls inside and it is a really beautiful dark brown color because usually in medium market you can find some more transparent colors and this one is like oof. You can apply this color just on your clear skin, like with foundation only. I want to try to apply it on my eyeshadow base because I usually work in this way, so I apply it all over my lid. If you want to work correctly with this texture, definitely you will need any synthetic flat brush and you will work with very small small amount of this product so i will put it on my hand close my camera to my eyes and let's start so first of all you need to remember that you have to work very fast with very very small amount of this product i grab it on my brush pack it inside and apply from my outer corner to inner corner corner and your, bigger, and your biggest amount of product should lay on your lid and with clean brush you just blend it up so you create like color base for your eyeshadows and also same color as a base I will apply under my lower lash line I start to fix this base with a bluish undertone pearl powder, also from Makeup Forever, and cover all my underbrow zone and lightly blend it on my cheek. Of course, if you want to receive more neutral colors, you can fix it with any neutral beigey undertone. And I also apply it to my in a corner and the next two colors I will use it will be this uh, light violet and dark dark plumpy violet colors it's also from old makeup forever eyeshadows so with a lighter color and my flat fluffy soft brush I will touch on the edges to help my cream eyeshadows lightly blend into pearl powder and create like a soft transaction and 
I changed my brush for a smaller flat one and grabbed this dark lumpy purple color and just pack it over on my lid and after a clean brush I will blend it. So I almost finished with my eyes, I add like a black pencil inside in my waterline and now I just want to add a little of starlight and I will apply like a glitter base and over it I want to apply a white bluish starlight, this one is from Glazel, uh, under my brow and to make a glitter base in one portion I apply the inner corner with a smaller brush and with a small flat brush just add this starlight here and pack it do not forget to pack it because if you will stretch everything will fall down we do not need it and on underbrow zone I will do it with my finger So here, we are, so here we are done with our makeup, I just apply lashes, again my opinion about fake lashes you already know from my previous videos because everyone who move more to natural makeup can stop just on brownish and beige colors, it is just an idea for a colorful makeup and it's a really really glittery one I will show it a little bit in the end so I add a little of lipstick and here we are it is it and I also add a little bit more contouring for make my face a little bit more sculpting so uh, here it is uh, I can tell you that it is a pretty much easy work with this cream eyeshadows I use such a minimum amount of these creams because if you will apply too much you will not blend it well you will not blend it in the right way because everything starts to dry so the secret to work with it just grab very small amount of that and to blend it very fast and you can see how intense uh, color looks over it and I truly think that it's a very very long wearing cream texture also I know that they have uh, a lot of different colors and if you're like a usual person which playing with makeup and you are afraid to take this dark brown color you can choose another one which is much more lighter and much more softer and easier to work with for me it's much more easy to grab dark color and blend it to intensity which I want and also this dark brown color will work and on lighter skin tone and on darker skin tone and it's really really easy to work with you can also apply this aqua excel cream color for uh, on your lips you can do like eyeliner you can play whatever you want but for me it was more interesting to use it as an eyeshadow base and if we are back to our eye makeup you can see that it have a very cold bluish undertone which I like on myself on my light skin color but be very careful if you have a darker skin tone or a medium skin tone or uh, olive skin tone because it will look like you are a little dead sorry but it is true so this combination of colors especially uh, these white bluish uh, pearl powders starlight can be useful as for me in a more beautiful way on a light white skin tone goes because on olive skin it just can make this olive skin more green than it is and it is up Boom. and it is pretty it and thank you for watching write your comments under visit our instagram page ring the bell whatever and comment and write all your opinion about this makeup thank you for watching bye bye